Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. So, this is going to be probably the last video I do for Infinite Space for a while. Mostly because I went on a bit of a bender, kinda. Not really a bender. I guess bender would mean I was drinking. No, that's not true. Um, I just went on a, a, a long series of attempts in this game, and I beat it. I beat Infinite Space. As weird as that sounds, Infinite Space can be beaten. And so, I just want to show you what that looks like, and then, uh... And then we're going to be done. So, this is it. Uh, here's my ship. It's, uh, we've got lots of scrap. We've got um, everything. Got eight crewmen. Um, basically, I played the same way as I've played every other time. It's just that eventually I kind of snowballed into the point where I've got enough power to, to actually do stuff. So we've taken a little bit of damage. We just fought some bad guy or something. But um, let me show you kind of how it goes. It's a totally different play style than you've ever seen before. Ready? So what, you, what we do is we've got these plus weapons, which, um, plus weapons are what you get from beating, like, the mini-bosses on each sector. I think I'm on, like, sector 12 or something right now. But, um, so they're, they're very inexpensive. We've got a plus beam, plus laser, burst laser, plus breach, and a plus ion bomb. I also happen to have a weapon pre-igniter. So it basically just kind of goes like this. He's got three shields, I've got a breach missile, and an ion bomb. Let's just, I can, I can probably kill him with just two, two of my weapons. And then here's the uh, the plus beam. Let's hit three or four of these. He's dead. <laughs> and that's how it works. <laughs> so I uh, just kind of fly around and I blow people up like that. Um, I was playing through it a bit because I wanted to see if uh, intruders detected. Get out of there. I wanted to see, like, you know, what happened if you actually got to the end and uh, if there was any, like, end to this ever. And there's not. There's just never. Somehow I managed to turn that off. Shoot. Alright, fine. Let's just breach missile. That's a burly missile. It has, like, a 100% chance of putting a hole in the hole. And, uh, it's not. It's not very nice. It's a very evil weapon. This is probably the lowest my hull's been in a long time, though, so I'm kind of concerned about that. I'm also slowly making a shift to pure... Uh, what are these guys called? Because I just need more power. I mean, I've got every op I've got every system. There's, like, nothing else to, to do. Except for... I don't have... There's nothing else to spend scrap on. I was kind of kind of thinking there'd be more to it at the end, but basically I'm just flying from one sector to the next, blowing up the bosses so that I can get better weapons. Uh, and we've also got like one of every crewman, so we have tons and tons of events. So, like a slug captain hails you, invites you. Now, most gracious captain, you just join me in a drink. Rock crewmen can can shrug off any bad stuff. It's very robust. Yeah, this was a ruse. Right, so same thing as before. You just pew pew pew. And then we just blow them up. So that's why I'm saying this will probably be the last time I play this for a while, because there's nothing else to really do. I've already beaten it. I'm only at level 3 shields, so I should probably upgrade that. Uh, we'll just ignore them. I, I ignore a lot of people now, because I don't need I don't need the scrap. So even though we have, a one, we have only 10 life, I'm going to fight the next sector's boss. There's two bosses per sector. As soon as you jump in, if you meet the strength requirement, this first guy will attack you. If you beat him, then he will flag a sector, like a, uh, a star location, as a boss. So this guy's pretty tough. So on guys like this, what I usually do is I'll use the Ion Bomb, which is a, it's a plus Ion Bomb, five Ion damage. So you just Ion Bomb the shield room, and then we blast it with the laser, and I Breach Missile the weapon room. And then we just kind of go pew pew ka chew. Alright, let's, uh, let's just zap like that. So that was tough, right? <laughs> See what I mean? It's, it's, he's dead. Uh, that was easy. So, and then worst case scenario, I got level 3 cloak. So, now that's the bad guy right there, the little tiny guy. So let's go beat him. Let's see what kind of weapon we get. I would like to find a store. Perfect. Because we've got plenty of scrap we can repair. Um, there's nothing that ever interests me really at stores anymore. Except for if they have the peoples that I want to I wanna trade for. 
Also, I have like a plus beam drone. Um, I haven't really used that yet. Plus missile drone, burst laser. That's silly, I don't need that. Neither do I need that. I sell most of my stuff. We've got stealth weapons, by the way. Yeah, we've got uh, automated reload, stealth weapons, weapon pre-igniter. So we can attack super, super fast. Let's go beat up that other guy. Those are the guys that give you the exciting stuff. Uh, yep. That's the event where you get a new rock man. Don't need him. I've also kind of seen a lot of the events a few times. Let's just attack him. Even though I have so many weapons, I still have a tendency to try to avoid using my missiles. I don't know why. I don't want to overuse my drones or my missiles. I might run out someday. <laughs> it's possible. So... Higher slug. Oh, this is the event where you ignore him and then he wants you to rescue him. Yeah, I've already got slock nog. Now we have two slock nogs, except we're gonna get rid of him. There we go. Yep, 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 yep. So I'm back to CK2, I think, after this, because I've already beaten this game. I did not, again, I did not think you could beat infinite space, but yes, you can. It's possible. And combat tactics are very simple. Every time somebody boards, I just vent the oxygen and let them die. They can't break through the doors, and it's not worth waiting for the combat. Level 3 oxygen also replenishes it very, very fast, so... Nothing to worry about. I did recently lose my weapons guy, but apparently this guy's gotten trained up to full again, so that's okay. It was just some event that killed him. Alright, you ready? Watch, I bet we don't... The weapon pre-igniter would... Oh shoot, my beam weapon wasn't charged. That's not cool. Uh, oops. Well, so apparently they've lowered one of my shield levels. Let's go ahead and... Uh, yeah, we'll use the ion bomb on shields. That there. Ion bomb missed, unfortunately. And they shot down my breach missile. Wow. That's not cool at all. That's, um... Alright, fine. We're gonna have to go a little bit defensive here. Use the defense drone, just in case. Might have to cloak. Asteroid field doesn't help. No real sense in using the burst missile, because it's not gonna really do any damage on its own. The chances of all five shots hitting are kinda low. Ion bomb number two does fire and hit, and we take out the shield room with that. Breach missile must have already been shot. It's not doing anything. I'm gonna have to take out drone control before we can do that. Sounds like we just got a hole fracture. Ouch! Let's send uh, you over there to help out and repair that. This auto fire kind of thrown me off. I want to take out the uh, take out drone control, please. <laughs> Breach missile is on the drones, please. Fire, hit. No, I can't use the... What am I thinking? I can't use the breach missile against drone control. I got a drone defending against it. Fix the doors. I am bomb man on drone control. Get him. Come on! This guy's giving me more trouble than most, unfortunately. Weapons are down. What? Let's get out of here. Also, since I've got stealth weapons, I'm able to uh, charge up my weapons and even fire them while I'm invisible. So, that's nice. First laser and an ion bomb. Let's try doing that. Not quite enough power to get through. 
Offensive drone, come on, do something. Wow, I am surprised. This is really unusual to have this much trouble. Marsh, I'll probably die right now. Iron bomb again. On what? I could probably kill him if I take out the cockpit. Yeah, he's dead. Much, much more difficult than I expected. So we got a Zoltan shield as an augment. So, this will give us five shields. It seems like these guys are always giving me augments now instead of weapons. I'd really much rather... I wanted to get, like, four burst lasers or something just to have an, a ridiculous amount of burst power. But... Zoltan shield over an automated reloader. Eh, I think the Zoltan shield's kind of crap. It's just five extra health. That's kind of dumb. So we'll just not accept it. And we're back to repair mode. So yeah. It's basically, uh... It's again. It's not normally that difficult. That was um, surprisingly hard compared to normal. Each each crewman has their own designated area that I send them to. So I remember where they go. So yeah, from here, um, I don't know. I think I'm going to take a break and just not play this game anymore, because there's uh, not really much of a reason for it. First laser! Normally it goes like that, even on the bad guys. The big guys. Sores. And there'll probably be a store somewhere that we can repair up before we... We'll just explore the sector until we find a store, repair it, and then we, uh... Then we get out of here. So. Okay, well, um... That's... Pretty much it, really. So, infinite space, not so infinite, huh? Right. Okay, well thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again back in CK2 or something else. See you next time. Thanks for watching.